Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, James O'Farrell. Uh, I'm the head of additive manufacturing here at uh, Solid Experts. And today we're very excited uh, to uh, present our new partnership with Builder 3D. It is a company from the Netherlands. Uh, they've been in business now for the last 11 years. They've focused their, their energy on large scale printing, which you can see behind me here. And so really the goal for us uh, at Solid Experts is to expand our portfolio, uh, create um, 3D printing offers that can meet uh, the demands of the, of the marketplace. And so when it comes to uh, Builder 3D, uh, we felt that this was a great machine for anyone who is looking to get into large scales printing uh, in terms of prototyping, in terms of uh, looking at some tooling, fixtures, jigs at a more larger scale. Uh, we have all kinds of great applications that we can use with this 3D printer. And so we came to the conclusion that the Builder 3D was a great offer for our customer base uh, due to a multitude of factors in terms of reliability, in terms of uh, precision, and in terms of a price point that it, it's uh, a fraction of the cost of what some of the top technologies out there, but however, it still meets those same uh, prerequisites that some of the, the six-figure machines have. And so Builder 3D is a great in-between to get great quality parts uh, for your prototyping needs, for uh, larger scale of tooling and fixtures. And so today we're just going to do uh, a bit of an overview. We're not going to dive in too deep, but we're just going to give an overview of some of the features, some of the specs uh, that the Builder 3D uh, has to offer. Um, so we're going to get uh, right into it so that uh, you get an overview. And if you want to go a little bit more in, in depth and you, you see this presentation today as a value for your organization, uh, we can always work in conjunction with you. Uh, by providing either a file uh, and doing a kind of a case study in terms of cost of material, print time, and also as well uh, get an opportunity to uh, print the part and kind of validate uh, if it meets uh, in terms of precision, resolution, uh, those sorts of things for whatever project you're looking to do uh, with our Builder 3D uh, printer. Uh, so now that uh, We've uh, got an introduction to our machine here. Uh, we have at Builder 3D, we have um, three, three models that we have in, in, in mind here. So let me just showcase the first one here. So this is um, our largest scale printer in terms of dimension. So we have uh, here the Builder, we have the Extreme, 2000, which is our largest scale printer out of the three models. So we have three models. We have the 1000, the 1500, and we have the 2000. And the 2000 has dimensions of 700 by 700 and 1.7 meters in height. So you can see you can print some really, uh, if you need some height to your parts, uh, this is definitely a uh, printer for you. And in terms of applications, uh, later on in the slides, you'll see some of the things that, that have been done with uh, the Extreme 2000. Uh, this is the one that we have in, in stock right now uh, that we, we help test with our clients. And that's the uh, Extreme 1500. And the Extreme 1500 has a, a build uh, table of 1100 by 500 and 1800, uh, no, 820 millimeters in height. So these are some of the dimensions that you're gonna get in, in terms of the extreme 1500. So the first one, the Builder 2000, was extreme 2000 was 700 millimeters by 700 millimeters by 1.7. And this one is 1.1 meters by, by uh, by 500 millimeters and in the height it's 820 millimeters and then moving forward with our third model which is our introductory model to the large-scale printing space it is uh, a 700 
millimeter by 700 millimeter by 820 millimeter uh, build uh, build uh, volume. So these are our three models. And so depending on your project, we have different models that can meet the demands of, of your project. Now, in terms of uh, materials, it is an open source. Uh, it's an open source printer. However, the things that we have to keep in mind is is that the uh, the build table it comes up to about six. It, it heats up to sixty degrees Celsius. So, in order to have optimal parts, the recommended materials that we have here uh, for you would be the P, a standard PLA. And then we have uh, what they call, uh, it's an in-house brand, it's uh, called the Pro One. So the Pro Run is a uh, tough PLA. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more ruggedness, uh, a little bit more uh, durability, and something that has material capabilities to be stronger than ABS materials, well, then you can get something a little bit much more functional with a uh, the Pro One material. So you'll have your PLA for rapid prototyping and just kind of validating and doing models. And then with the Pro One, you can do a little bit more functional mechanical parts and something a little bit more rugged as well uh, with the Pro One material. We also have uh, PET uh, material and as well PVA that you can also use on the uh, builder uh, 3D uh, printer model. Now, in terms of uh, their pipeline, they're also in the works uh, right now. Uh, hopefully, in the future, in the near future, uh, some high temperature uh, materials as well that they're looking into in terms of their R&D. Um, so, if you do have projects that have those prerequisites, uh, there are stuff in the pipeline right now that's being that's being worked on and developed uh, as we speak in terms uh, with the uh, builder. Builder 3D uh, company. Uh, so just to go over some of the um, some of the uh, features and characteristics of the builder uh, that we have actually right here, currently right behind us is if you can see that we have we have a very strong solid aluminum frame, and so like I mentioned before. We have also, in terms of here, we have the the print table that maybe we can get a little bit closer here. So if you can see in here, we have the print table, which this is the Builder 1500. So you can see here that uh, you can heat this up to about 60 degrees Celsius. And so, you also have, in terms of your uh, nozzle, you have a double extruder with one nozzle. So you can see here the two filaments that are feeding. And right here, if we can go around, sorry for the, uh, the visuals, sometimes I'm just trying to move around here. Uh, but you can see that in the back you have uh, two two spools here of cartridges that are uh, 400, uh, 4.75 kilograms. So these are pretty big uh, spools of material that you can get off of the uh, Builder 3D. So you can take two filaments here, you can actually mix colors. So you don't necessarily to have an all black part. If you need to mix uh, black and red or black and white, you can have two filaments that are feeding into the uh, into the head into the head of uh, into the nozzle now in terms of nozzles in terms of nozzles we have four sorry in terms of nozzles we have four uh, three types of nozzle sizes so we have 0.4 millimeters we also have 0.8 millimeters and we have 1.2 millimeters in terms of the uh, nozzle size so depending on what kind of precision you want to get obviously with the 0.4 millimeters you're going to get a much more precise part 
Now, obviously, in print time, depending on the, the, the size and dimensions of your part, you're looking at a lar uh, longer print time. If you're looking for something in between, uh, 0.8 is recommended. It can get you can get relatively good precision and as well a good print time. Uh, and then if you really want to just get something really quickly done and just validate it uh, and you don't need much precision or aesthetics, uh, well then the 1.2 millimeters uh, might be the best uh, option for you. So depending on the quality that you need, you have three different uh, nozzles. Um, in terms of the layer thickness, you're looking at points, 0.1 uh, millimeters to point, point 0.9 uh, millimeters in terms of the layer thickness of, of the printed, printed parts. Um, so now in terms of the applications, in terms of also some other options on this printer, we have um, a UPS system that can give you a detection that's, we have a UPS system that's integrated, so if there's ever a loss of power, you don't lose your print, and uh, that's that's a feature that's integrated as well in there. We also have notifications when uh, you run out of material and you need to add more uh, cartridges to the to the to the print. Uh, those are some options as well that we have uh, with the uh, Builder uh, 3D, um, and also simply in terms of the slicer, the type of uh, software uh, that we have with the Builder 3D. It's a open source uh, software, very intuitive and easy to use. It's called uh, Simplify 3D, um, which is what you, which is the uh, open source platform that's compatible with the uh, Builder 3D uh, printer. And uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of the connections, you have uh, Wi-Fi uh, and also with a USB also in terms of, uh, of connection as well. And so now if we were to kind of transition into some of the applications and also some of the parts that we've been fine tuning and, and, and printing as well, this is, this is a sample right here that we did. So this gives you quite a, Quite a good idea in terms of the quality and the uh, the geometry that we were able to go get with this. Uh, some it was a pretty funky design in terms of a base. So we really wanted to test to see what we could get as a kind of surface finish precision. So this was one of our our, our first uh, first uh, prototypes that we that we tried just in terms of design, just to get something out there and kind of see what would come out of it. So uh, this is the uh, the result of it. So it's pretty impressive, pretty precise. And so in terms of other applications, this was one of the parts that we actually were able to present. So this was, this is the screen also, I forgot to touch. You have your touch screen right over here. This kind of gives you all your options in terms of print settings and also the uh, heat bed uh, temperatures. It is right on the side of the printer. So now in terms of the applications here, you can see we have a variety of different client bases that we can go after, whether it's rapid prototyping or even now in museums, they have dinosaur skeletons with large scale printing. We also have mannequins that we are, are able to, sorry about that. We have mannequins here for stores. So again, you're looking for nice surface finish precision and just simple prototyping this is a very very reliable machine for that and in terms of uh, the size part we're looking at 95 hours of print time here you can see the size of the part is 110 centimeters it's one piece and this was done on a 0.8 millimeter nozzle 
and so now more in the uh, automotive side we have a cus uh, we have uh, we have some custom intake solutions for uh, top tier uh, supercars here again uh, the part that was printed the size of this intake system was 80 centimeters and so this one required a little bit more uh, precision and quality so they went with a 0.4 millimeter uh, nozzle on this one and it was 55 55 hours of uh, print time there and so again uh, some of the uh, builder 3d some of the projects that they've done they've They've catered a lot in the uh, automotive industry, whether it's uh, dashboards, panels. Uh, they've done a lot of prototyping in terms of that, or even end use, some end use parts as well. Um, so these are some of the uh, applications that we've that we've done, and in industries that have Builder 3D has catered to. So this printer, sorry. So this printer right here, also this is the. Uh, this was done on the extreme, uh, the extreme 2000. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more height uh, at 1.7 meters, this was it's the results that you can get with the uh, with the builder uh, 3D uh, printer right here. And so, in hindsight, just to kind of do an overview of 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 today is simply we have an offering now of a large scale printer and uh, this we're excited to start collaborating with companies start discussing their projects seeing what the capabilities are and in terms of this machine and kind of push it uh, to the limits so now if you're looking for something with that's of large scale in terms of prototyping or tooling or even we would be, love to test in terms of mold capabilities, see what kind of precision and what kind of strength we can get out of that with some of the parts, with especially with the Pro One uh, material. Uh, if you have any projects like that, feel free to uh, reach out to us and we'd love to collaborate with you, share files and kind of print and, and validate these parts. So today was just kind of more or less an overview to kind of show that we now have those capabilities. And so we have, um we have uh, the technology now to meet some more of the demands of the marketplace so if you have any questions uh regarding uh the 3d printing uh feel free to reach out or i believe i, I don't know if our moderator is available right now but we if you have any questions you can feel free to reach out and we can always set up a more personalized custom demo and kind of maybe answer to see if if the, the, the precision is sufficient in terms of resolution in terms of in terms of print time in terms of cost of material uh, these are all things that we can uh, validate in, in your project so um, on that note uh, thanks for for this web thanks for attending this webinar thank you for uh, taking the time this afternoon we just wanted to kind of showcase uh, our new uh, new equipment and when you have an opportunity uh, feel free to reach out and we would love to know more about your project. Is there any questions before we, we cut this short? Questions? All right, well, everyone, thank you for this afternoon. Thank you for uh, passing, uh, thank you for taking the time with us today. And uh, if you, uh, you wanna reach out and have a personalized presentation, uh, we can always do that and organize something with you guys. Uh, the Builder 3D can, uh, respond to a lot of your needs, especially when it comes to prototyping, tooling, fixtures, and uh, we would be looking into molds uh, as well to kind of do more tests on that to see if it could validate those needs, but primarily for prototyping and tooling could be an interesting option for your company. Uh, feel free to reach out. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for, thank you for attending today. Have a good one.